duplex on the market that they're trying to buy. Yo, yo, yo. Sir. How's it going? How are you? It's a Green Hat um, Master Certification, so it's Home Builders Association of Minnesota. They, you know, set up this standard um, whereby they measure energy efficiency. Our house achieved uh, master level, which just means it's just, I mean, it's just very energy efficient. This is actually one of my uh, you know, favorite features of the house. Uh, the idea being that we, the whole first level is supposed to be open. One of the things that we wanted was an area where, that felt like home. You know, we had just come from Chicago, we came from an area that was like very, very integrated, um, not only on like, you know, a socioeconomic level, but also age, race, religion, all of that. And so when we were exploring Camden Town, we got people from all walks of life that live here um, and around us, and it just felt like a place that we could breathe. It's just that mix of having that downtown, but having people actually live in community close to it, but then the long-term benefit of this wealth creation part right. from just paying your mortgage. What I'm hoping is that, you know, it's a, it serves as an example, really, of community and of a community that develops and prospers but doesn't uh, lose its flavor and character. I personally see Camden Town as a model for the future of development in the inner city. This is a family group. You think about like how many years we turned our back to the river. And it's like one of the best assets in the whole state. I know. You know? I mean, people don't even know it's here. No. So this is actually looking down Dowling. So the street that we just came on. So that's down on the river now. Mm -hmm. Okay, one of the new housing buildings. That. So this housing building. Right over here? Yep, would be right here. Culture and capacity. That is how Camden Town is going to become a reality. When I say culture, I mean the people who understand the vibe and the vibration and the energy and the types of programming that should happen in the neighborhood and capacity with institutions that has various resources that they can lend to that culture and those two things come together to make magic. Take your Uber back downtown or whatever. I mean, it's just like all these little assets that we can start to connect. What naturally flows from Camden Town down in the UHT. Right. That's gonna be, in my opinion, some of the best like condo, mixed use, little swanky ice cream shops and pizza spots. And, you know what I mean? That's yeah. just like a paradise. I mean, the sky is the limit. So this is the RBC Gateway project. It is a office, hotel, and residential mixed-use building that United Properties is developing right now, 37 stories. I think these partnerships represent a new way forward. In the urban community, in the black community specifically, it's the smallest things that have the biggest impact. In the black community, it is the church, the grandmama's house, and the barbershop that are those pillar institutions. And so, these partnerships help a barbershop, which seems like a very small place, literally become the catalyst to creating a commercial corridor for an entire neighborhood.